Terry on Arnold is coming along, bro. And he might be better. This is a take now. Terry on Arnold, bro, might be our best corner on the team. Chat. Facts. Cover skills, bro. He's, he's aggressive. <laughs> Okay. He comes up and hits, bro, and and he's 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 patient. I, I'm seeing more patience out of him now. He's playing the ball better, bro. First game jitters, second game jitters. He's playing way better than he did those first two games. So I'm I'm seeing a lot of improvement in Terry on. I think Terry on Arnold is our best corner on the field right now. Woo, man. It's easy to say that now. I know, I know the corn. I know you you played position, played at a high level. Yeah. But let me tell you this, it's easier to say that because he's getting more opportunities. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, Kool-Aid just doesn't get beat as much. Terry on honor, he's getting better. I think I'm eventually, a, I'm not ready to say he's our best corner right now. I think I'm it's ready. Kool-Aid without a doubt. One more, one more thing, you know? bro. I, I see a, a lot of bad body language from Kool-Aid. That's what kills me about him. I'm not saying he's not a good athlete. I see a bunch of getting back to the line, Huffing and puffing, not not communicating a lot. You know what I mean? I see that. I see the bad body language by him. Terry Arnold's always, he's ready to play. He's ready to play every down, bro. So that's why I say that. There's a lot more to it than that. But, I, I you know, Kool-Aid, he's, he's good. He's good at what he does, man. But I just feel like I see I see Terry Arnold in me. So I'm comparing him to me. Right now on the field, Terry Arnold is our best corner. I think Terry Arnold's ceiling because of his yeah. inexperience in the position, his level – that he got thrown into the position and the consistent progression we're seeing from this kid from last year against Texas when he got thrown into the game up until now, this year against Texas, the progression, the, the levels are not the same. It's not 20% growth. You, you're seeing like 50%, 65% where mm -hmm. improvement has happened. This last game against Ole Miss, I saw a concept be thrown at, at Arnold on a third down and they stopped it on third down, but they were beat on their side. The adjustment was made the very next drive. Not necessarily. I don't believe it was even a coaching adjustment because literally the, when the motion came, Arnold made the checks. It wasn't a safety check. It wasn't a linebacker check. It was Arnold made the checks, and it took away the read and forced Dart out of the pocket. The, the, the look was there. They were, they were going to target Arnold. But his ability to be in the right place consistently is what's making me see the difference between him and Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid is out of position a lot, but his athleticism is what makes him great. He he can he can recover like no other. Kool Aid can have a bad phase one and just dominate the rest of the phase. He can recover. There's not many that can do that. Arnold, all around right now, solid man.